Hey everyone, and welcome to this quick tutorial on the try, catch, and finally statement in JavaScript. This powerful tool helps you handle errors gracefully, ensuring your code doesn't crash unexpectedly. Let's start by setting up a basic try catch block. We use try to enclose the code that might throw an error. In this case, we're attempting to divide 10 by 0, which will result in infinity in JavaScript and does not result in an error. The console.log within the try block will output this result. The catch block is where we handle any errors that occur in the try block. The error object gives us information about what went wrong. Here, we'll simply log a message to the console if an error happens. In the end, the finally block. This is the magic of try catch finally. The code inside the finally block always executes, regardless of whether an error was thrown or caught. When we run this, you'll see infinity logged first from the try block, followed by this will always execute from the finally block. Notice the catch block wasn't executed because there wasn't an error in the traditional sense. Now let's introduce a real error to see the catch block in action. I'll declare a variable called variable, but leave it undefined. Now, in the try block, let's try to access a property of this undefined variable. This will generate an error. If you're coding along, try this with different kinds of errors to see how they are reported in the error message. When we run this, notice we get the error message from the catch block, indicating that variable is undefined, followed by the message from the finally block. So, the try catch finally gives you a robust way to handle potential problems gracefully report errors, and ensure some cleanup or final actions always take place. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more JavaScript tips and tricks.